Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Here on Designing Spaces, we are always on the lookout for ways that you can improve your home and surroundings. And today, well, it's no exception. DIYers, we're going to take a closer look at restoring wood finishes in and around the house. We also take a look at lifestyle. Today, we go into the kitchen and see how we can get organized with the right tools to make your culinary dreams come true. Now, that sounds like some great ideas for planning, oh, I don't know, the next dinner party? Sounds good. Also, we look at a stylish way to transform your interiors from something a little tired into something lively and stylish. And don't forget, we have a few surprises up our sleeves. You won't want to miss it. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Okay, we should jump right in with a DIY project. Well, this is no ordinary do-it-yourself project. Now, it's easier than ever to finish or refinish wood surfaces such as furniture. And there is nothing quite like the warmth and charm of real wood. And there's such a feeling of accomplishment when you're able to take a raw wooden table or an old shelf unit and give it a beautiful and useful life. To see what it's all about, here's Jody Darren. Hi, guys. Hey, Holly. We're here. I brought along Bruce Johnson. Hi, Holly. Nice to meet you. He is a do-it-yourself expert and the author of The Wood Finisher, and he's here to help you with your wood restoration projects. That's perfect. Good. I really like doing things myself, uh -huh. and I like to buy unique and interesting pieces, and I really wanted to know how to restore and finish them. Yeah. Well, I think everybody realizes today how much warmth and charm real wood can bring to a home, but what people haven't realized is how much easier it's gotten. You know, the materials dry faster, easy to apply, anybody can do it. That's perfect. All right, I've got some materials out in my car. I'm gonna go get them and then we'll get started. Okay, great, right. great. Sounds fun. I'm really excited, I can't wait. Okay, well, we're all set up here, Bruce. Tell yeah. us what you have on the table. Well, for Holly, I picked out a very easy project, and that's important for beginners because you want to work on something that's going to be very successful. This is an unfinished table, and I like unfinished furniture because it is inexpensive. You can get it lots of different woods, mm -hmm. but the tips and techniques we're going to do here apply to any wood. Now, Holly, even though it is unfinished, we still have to do a couple of little preparations. First, we're going to just take some medium grit sandpaper and going in the direction of the grain of the wood, going to sand it lightly. Mm -hmm. And what this is going to do is going to open up the pores and it's going to take care of any scratches that maybe it got in the store. And since we made some dust, we're going to take a tack cloth here and wipe off the dust. Now, just to make it easy for you, I've already sanded this. So we're going to go on to our next step. And that's going to be an application of Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. And the wood conditioner is going to make the stain absorb more evenly. So we're going to put this on. We're going to use a, in this case, I'm using a natural bristle brush. You can do it with a foam brush too. And here, I'll let you take over oh. on this. And you just want to give a nice liberal coat to every, every part of the wood that's going to have a stain applied to it. And do we have to worry about any dripping or anything like that? No. This is not a final finish. This is just the pre-stain conditioner. The wood's going to soak it all in, and then we're going to be ready to put on our stain. Now, once this is all coated, how long does it take to dry? We're going to give it about 5 to 15 minutes for all the wood conditioner to be soaked in, okay. and then we're ready to put on our stain. Okay, so we have our first coat dried. What's next? Yeah, the wood conditioner is dried. Now we're ready to put on the stain. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about this is that you can pick out whatever color you want. And the gunstock, I think, is going to be a perfect choice for this. Okay. So now we dip in about a half an inch. And again, then we'll just start uh, brushing right over the wood there. And just work it in. You can work pretty fast on this. That's the great thing about the stain. It's very, uh, very forgiving. Should I brush along with the grain? Or? No, you can okay. go with the grain or against the grain. It doesn't really matter on this one. And we want to get a nice even coat here, so one time, one area kind of thing? Yeah, that's a great thing about the Minwax Wood Finish Stain is that with one coat, we can get all the color we want on there. She's doing a great job of getting it on. And now what I like about putting the stain on this way is that you get to determine what the final color is by how quickly you wipe off the excess stain. And I'll show you. If you just wanted a light version of the gun stock, we would take our rag within just a few seconds here and wipe off all the stain. 
And Holly, if you if you looked at that and you decided, oh, I want it a little bit darker than that, you just put some more stain on and let it sit on there longer. Okay, and how long can we leave the yeah. stain on? I would say probably about 10 minutes is the most we're going to be able to leave on there before the final thing you have to do is wipe off all the stain. And once it's all applied, about how long does this take to dry? I like to let this sit overnight, you know, six to eight hours, oh, okay. and then and then it'll be ready to put a finish on. Okay, so that's a long time, which is probably why you have another one sitting over here that's exactly. ready to go. Yeah, let's bring this one up. So I uh, had an idea that we might want to see what this one looks like. And this is with the gun stock stain over the whole thing. And as you can see, the wood took it very evenly. Yeah, it looks great. But this is just color. Now we need to protect the wood yeah. and to lock in the color. And we're going to do that with fast drying polyurethane. Mm -hmm. Bring that one over here. Okay. And should I brush along the grain with this? Yes, this is the time we're going to take a little bit more care. We're going to go with the direction of the grain of the wood. And we aren't going to be wiping this off. So this is a time when you want a nice, smooth, even coat. You're doing a great job. And yep. now this is going to give us a protective coat, but it's also going to give us a little bit of a... The sheen. sheen. Yeah, okay. that's what we like to see. We like to see the light reflect all that. It gives it that depth and richness. So in addition to protecting the wood, we're also giving it that, that great, rich look that we want to see. Yeah, that's yep. great. Oh, she's doing a great job on this. Okay, yeah. now once we have this all covered, it yeah. um, takes about how long to dry? I like to let it sit overnight to dry, okay. and then Holly can come back and do a second coat, and it's all done. Wonderful. Yeah. Very yeah. Yeah. Now, Holly, you have some of your own projects that you'd like to work on. So what do you have in mind? Well, I have an old chair inside the house for my okay. daughter that, that I would like to restore. So hey. go check it out. All right. Great. What we've got is a chair you know, made in the 40s or 50s. It's not an antique, but you know, it's a family heirloom. So we want to do something this. We want to make it look better. Now, the first thing we have to do, though, is clean it. We do that with any antique, any piece of furniture you've got. So I always start with taking the Minwax wood cleaner, spraying it on the cloth, and then just wiping the chair down, getting the dirt and grime off so we can see what's underneath there. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the, the finish is gone. You know, this chair was supposed to be a lot darker, a lot richer, but it's just faded away. It's kind of lifeless now. But out in our work area, I've got a product out there that's going to make it really easy for you to restore this, get it back to looking the way it used to be. Now, Bruce, this is the product you mentioned inside? Yes. Now, Holly, you remember before we were staining and finishing as two separate steps. Yeah. And that's a great way to doing it. But you have an option, and that's with Minwax Poly Shades, where they take the stain and the polyurethane, put them in one can. So we can go right to putting on the poly shades. Perfect. Now, I love this stuff because it does save us a lot of time, and it doesn't take very much product. We're just barely going to put the tips in there, and we're going to start working it in, brushing it back and forth. Can I do that? Yeah, let's get you started on there. <laughs> and like I say, just thin coats. You don't need much product because we're laying down the stain and the finish at the same time. Yeah. Using a good quality brush, using just the tips. You wouldn't want to use a foam brush for something like this mm -hmm. because how you lay it down, that's how it's going to dry and how it's going to look at the end. So along with the wood grain. Yes. And where can we find more information about Minwax? You know, one of the things I love about Minwax is that they have this great website, Minwax.com. Great. It's a great website. Really recommend it. And if anyone out there wants to take out a project of their own, you can go to our website, designingspaces.tv, review this segment, look at all the tips again, and work on your own projects out there. So until next time, I'm Jody Darren for Designing Spaces. You know, the time has flown by today, you know, and we don't even have enough time to squeeze in one more segment. But not to worry. We have even more Designing Spaces coming your way soon. We also have Kid Spaces. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Think Green. That's coming up as well. Looks like we're going to be busy. Definitely. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. And until next time, I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.